It's Melissa of Naturally Curly Q. Welcome back. If this is your first time, a welcome. And if you are back over and over again, if you're an OG, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and always hit the bell, which is that notification button. It will let you know whenever I'm uploading. And now I'm up to three times a week uploading. I'm really excited about that. I am going to come with some updates, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Today's video is going to be a collab with my girl, Jasmine Airedale, and we are also doing a giveaway. So don't forget to look down in the info bar with those details for the giveaway because we want to bless one lucky winner with an Ulta gift card. Yes. We are coming with Beauty on a Budget Slaytorial. That's what this is. Obviously, probably by the theme, you already know. But we wanted to actually slay the face with only a budget of $50. Yes, I said $50. So we wanted to show you a couple of innovative ways to use the palettes more than once, to use the items more than once, and still get a slayed look. We were so excited and biting our teeth at the same time. Before we were buying like high-end stuff, we were always going to the drugstore. We wanna let you know there's things at the drugstore and we used only $50. Of course, it's not including tax because we are in different states, but we wanted to show you that you can slay on a budget. So let's get straight into this video. So we're starting with the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro Palette, and I'm going in with that dark chocolate and the black, and I'm using the eyeshadows to fill in my brows. This is hack number one, which is to use your eyeshadows as a brow shaper or to fill in your brows. I'm just using that first and then I'm going to use the NYX HD concealer and sculpt the brows with this. Now you usually use it to conceal but you can also use your concealer to sculpt your brows and also prime your eyelids which I'm about to show right here. And this is a great way to prime your eyes. Then I'm going to use that cream shadow. And now I'm starting with that first shade that is like a beige taupey shade. I'm using that as a transition shade on a fluffy brush. Now I'm going in a little bit deeper. When you're going for a smoky eye, you definitely want to go light and then dark and then build the intensity of the eye with that shadow. So I'm just going back a lot of times when I lose pigment in one area I will go back with the brush. Now I'm just taking my small taper Luxie brush and I'm going into that I would say mocha shade and just taking it on the outer V and filling in. Now I'm using a flat shader brush or a concealer brush. I'm using that silver and I'm patting it on my lid only. And now I'm just going in to blend so there are no harsh lines. And I'm building the intensity. Now I'm just taking a wet wipe and catching the fallout. Now I'm using the palette again to line my eyes just using a different brush to make sure that the product is packed on. But you can get definitely get a wing with your eyeshadow palette. So I've used this palette for the eyeshadow for my brows and for my eyeliner, which is pretty cool. I'm going in with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 330. I totally forgot <laughs> to color correct. So I'm using the Dark Circle Concealer by NYX. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes using this Real Techniques foundation brush. Just pat that in a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend that concealer. Blend the concealer. Blend the foundation. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to go back in with that same concealer that we use to sculpt our brows and to prime our eyes to do some highlighting. So I've used my palette three ways already and I've used this concealer three ways. 
to sculpt my brows, to prime my eyes, and now to highlight. Put a little bit more for a sculpted look. You definitely can use the highlighter in different areas, which is pretty cool. And you get the biggest bang for your buck because you're not going to different products using the same one. I've learned can definitely can do that with the universal shade. Now I'm using this e.l.f. contour palette. I love this palette. I used it all four different ways with these four different items. I went in with the banana shade and I'm setting. Now I'm sculpting with that gray shade in the palette. This palette is good for fair to medium. Dark uh, tones, but probably I think they have a darker tone. Uh, contour palette. But I'm definitely contouring with it and now I'm bronzing with it which is pretty cool. I'm using this e.l.f. fan brush to help get a seamless look. Now I'm using my blush and I love this brush. Blush. Blush. Oh, brush. Blush. Ah. Oh. Get it right, Melissa. Anyway, um, and now I'm going in with that palette to line my lower lash line and now smoke out the bottom. And the same colors I use at the bottom, I use at the top. And I'm using that champagne in my inner corner and now using the shimmery highlight in the contour palette to highlight. Reminds me a lot of Albatross by NARS, which is pretty cool. And I'm taking this Essence lip liner and lipstick and now I'm using Essence mascara to fill in my brows and to actually do my lashes and that is the final look you guys smoked out slayed under $50 hello okay so this is the final look yes I slay, right? This, I, I absolutely love. I loved using this palette. This was my first time using the Makeup Revolution palette and my first time using this e.l.f. contour palette and I love both of them. So of course in the video I show you all how much everything is and then I'm going to let you know right here what the total was. Slayed under $50. I was so proud of myself, of putting myself on a budget, only using that. And of course, I did have to switch certain things out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to head on over to Jasmine's channel. I'm sure she's going to slay it. And she is has oily skin. I have normal to dry. So you should be able to find something right in between the two and make it work for you like we did. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down below. It's going to run for about two weeks. And yeah, someone will win a gift card from Ulta so they can slay too. How about that? So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.